fact, was so full of murder. Hello, welcome to Wiggy Reviews. I'm Wiggy and I review books. So I'm a liar. Last video I said I wasn't going to do a quickie review, but then I remembered I did want to do a quickie review, and so here I am to do a quickie review. Um, this is going to be one about a mystery series that I, I think it was the first, or at least the first-ish mystery series that I read that were adult mysteries, per se, um, as I was growing up. And I remember reading these in, I believe, middle school? I want to say middle school. Let me see when this came out before it makes me a liar. I think, I'm pretty sure it was middle school. It was either middle school or high school. Middle school. It was middle school. Mm -hmm. uh, these were the first books that I read uh, getting out of in while I was in middle, middle school that were the adult genre mystery books. Um, and it was one that my dad had and I just randomly saw them and I was going through a phase, okay? I think every child at one point in their life went through this phase where they were obsessed with Egyptian mythology and all an ancient Egypt and all that and I think every almost every child in the world went through a phase where like I'm gonna become an Egyptologist and I'm gonna go to Egypt and I'm gonna discover all the things in the in the pyramids and blah 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 blah. If you were not one of those children, I don't believe you, but comment below anyways to let me know that you weren't one of those children. Um but yeah, I went through a huge phase about Egypt where I love I, I studied everything. I wanted to be an ar archaeologist, specifically on Egyptian uh, ruins, Egyptian hieroglyphs, and all that stuff. So when I saw this on my dad's shit bookshelves, I went, what? What? There are mystery books about Egypt, and it takes place in ancient Egypt? I'm all for it! I'm in! So today I'm going to be giving you a quickie review on this! This series! Uh, it is the Lord Marin series by Linda S. Robinson, and this is the first book, I believe. I'm pretty sure this is the first book in this series. Let me double check. I could be a liar. Let me... It is not the first book. It is actually the fourth book, but I... Where is it? I, I believe I lost the first book because I read it so much and it was destroyed. Um, but this was my favorite book in the series was The Eater of Souls. And you can read all the books in the series separately pretty much. They're pretty, pretty much standalone books as most mystery series tend to be. Um, but if you want to read from the beginning, uh, it starts with murder in the place of Anubis, murder at the God's Gate, murder at the Feast of Rejoicing, and then Eater of Souls. And there is also Slayer, oops, I knocked over my kitty, Slayer of Gods, which, um, I don't know, was this the, was, I think this was, um, let me see, where is that? This is the sixth book? Sixth book. Um, but again, you can read them in any order and it won't really affect but murder in the palace place murder in the place of Anubis is the first one and I guess you probably figured out now I have four of the six books um again murder in the place of Anubis was the first one and I read that thing to death and it is gone but these were ones that my dad was like you can't do that again these are my books um but I love these books it is about Lord Marin who is basically he's the um detective he's like the, a, an ancient detective in ancient Egypt uh they call him the eyes and ears of pharaoh and it is it takes place during the time of of king tut uh tutankhamun i think is the full name i've heard so many different variations of how to say the name but king tut um and i just i love these books linda s robinson clearly loved ancient Egypt as much as I did when I when I was a kid and I was reading these. Uh, she puts a lot of research into how they lived during that time and they're they're all mystery they're mysteries that take place in ancient Egypt and you you follow Lord Marin as he solves the mysteries. But of course there's always little um, twists in the way in in a sense um, because you know it's I don't know how else to describe it, but I mean, it's ancient Egypt, so there's different belief systems. It's not just law and order and justice in that sense. It is the 
Law and Order of Justice of Ancient Egypt, which may not be the same as today, but I love, I love these books. I love them. It really, like, Linda S. Robinson is very good at painting the time period. Like, you learn a lot. Of course, they mention all the mummification stuff, and it's as up-to-date as it was back in the <laughs> late 90s, when these were written, late 90s, early 2000s. Um, but I really like it because Lord Marin still kind of feels modern, if that makes sense. Like, he, it feels like he, it just, it feels like all the other mystery books in the sense that it's not completely above my, above your head. <clears throat> Lord Marin feels like a real person, like you could believe. Oh my gosh! If this was how, if this, if there was a detective back in ancient Egypt, this is exactly how he would act. Um, but Eater Eater of Souls is my favorite book, mainly because it really plays more into the mythology. Because uh, let me just read the back, and I'll explain a little better. Someone or something is slaying innocent persons on the night streets in the royal city of Memphis. Frightened citizens believe it is the gruesome work of the devourer. Devourer! I can't say that word. <laughs> the eater of souls, one of the most fearsome gods in the Egyptian pantheon. Even Lord Marin, the eyes and ears of Pharaoh, is baffled by this series of horrific crimes whose victims have only one thing in common. The grisly manner of their deaths. Is the evildoer truly the devourer, risen from the netherworld or a mere mortal? Between Lord Marin and the truth lie dangerous mysteries, in the city's back alleys and in the bosom of his own noble family. So yeah, I like this one because it really plays into the mythology and you learn a lot more about, uh, in these series, you learn a lot more about Egyptian day-to-day -day life, like how they dressed, how they acted, how they just lived back then. and I. Love it. Uh, it, it. This was kind. This was my version of Assassin's Creed, really. You know, the Assassin's Creed game that is in Egypt is a great game. I'm getting nerdy for just a second. Bear with me. Um, but that game did a really good job of showing day-to-day -day life. Like, if you just stood in a city and you watched the people, it, they did such a good job on researching that. And I feel like this was my, this was my Assassin's Creed. This is what gave me a doorway into ancient e Egyptian life. And I highly recommend this series. Even if you are, even if you didn't ever have a phase where you loved Egypt and wanted to be an arche archaeologist, I suggest this book because it's a good mystery. Um, his the interaction with King Tut is so. I don't want to use the word adorable because I feel like I use that word too much. But Lord Marin is basically a second father to King Tut, who. If you don't know King Tut's real history, he was king when he was a kid, when he was a very young teenager. And like and he had all these medical they, it came it came out now that he had all these medical things which are kind of in here. They one I can't remember which of the books in the series, but one of the books actually talks about the infamous chariot accident that possibly killed him or led to his death. Um and it, it is talked about in here and throughout the series you go through you go through their relationship with Lord Marin and King Tut all the way through to King Tut's actual death and what Lord Marin has to do after that. And I, oh, I love it so much. <laughs> um, so yes, Linda S. Robinson's Lord Marin series, in particular Eater of Souls, which is my favorite because it actually is a little bit more of the mythology. Uh, I love it so much. I love it, love it, love it. I highly suggest it. They're still available. Um, sometimes they don't have the first book. It, every time I've gone, I haven't been able to find it, hence why I haven't completed my collection, and I'm too lazy to order, because pfft, if I start ordering one book, then I have to order 20 books, and, you know, dangerous, going dangerous, dangerous, going down the rabbit hole there. So, <laughs> I recommend the series highly, 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 and thank you for joining me. If you have read this series or have heard of the series, and have, like, let me know in the comments. Let me know what you thought. Uh, this was a series that really influenced me during my middle school years when I started doing writing short stories and all that. And this was one of the series that really helped me kind of learn about thrillers and like mystery and like how to write that well. So yeah, <laughs> thank you so much for watching and I'll read you later. Bye!